as they come out of turn number four, and green is out. Will we get a clean lap in? Here we go. Side by side, they'll go in turn number one as Bishop comes down to the bottom side. McCready puts that right where he gets the cushion. He'll roll around the top side of the racetrack. The top two cars are going to check out momentarily. Great racing going on the top side of the racetrack. Your race for the lead in turn number three. They battle side by side on the turn number four. Brandon Shepard and Tim McCready down the base straight away. Who's going to lead lap one? McCready might have to turn like that to one. Great racing going on for second or third. Excuse me, Jared Landers down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Then again, going to go up top. And now Bishop back to the point, down the back, straight away. Terrific battle for third on back. And now the outside, here comes Lanigan. Lanigan to the outside. Powers down the main straight away, trying to bump that cushion down the straight away. At the line. At the car like Landers into one. Well, he might have it here in turn number one and two. It could be three wide. Mike Morgan to try and split the difference. He does just that. They're three wide. Farther in the middle. Landing in the top. Landers in the bottom. And then they'll slam the door on Landers in the inside turn number three. On the main straightaway, 12 minutes, 13 to go. It's still Brandon Shepard, Tim McCready. Terrific race on back. Marler goes to third, landing at fourth. Landers is fifth, six is Simpson. Be here they come. It's going to get Shepard out on the outside. McCready now. Marler to get up top. Now watch this, Mike Marler. Watch this right in the middle. Marler on a turn number two with the momentum. Here comes Mikey Marler down the next straightaway. Oh, baby, it's getting good. Please stay green, Chris Crew. Coming around turn number three again. McCready in the bottom side. He might have something this time. You race the lead down the front straightaway. B Chef hangs on for now. Marler also being patient. The top two cars duke it out for right now before he pushes the issue off of turn number two. On the back straight with a side to side lead. McCready on the bottom. Shepard up top. A long corner to rocket into turn number three. McCready to lead. Here comes Marler. Marler going to go to the middle. Out at turn four. Do we have a new leader? It is. My pick to win the race, Tim McCready and Lee. Seven to go in Knoxville. Marler, great restart. Man, even better start for McCready. He shows the way inside turn number one. The Marley going to try to answer back. Here comes Josh Richards up to third now. Simpson to the inside of Shepard. Nothing's there. He has to back out of the gas. Man, Mars is there as well. They're everywhere, James. It's going to be a great finish. Richards came from ninth to win last night. He started eighth. He's up to third now. Now Marler to the outside. Mike Marler has the momentum down the main straightaway. Six to go. And they hold off Marler in a backup car. Mike Marler, ever since last year here in Knoxville, down the back straightaway in that scintillating performance. He's going for lead in turn number three. Pulls alongside McCready. Five to go in a turn four. Well, McCready dived the corner off, got a little loose coming off the edge in turn number four. You've got a new leader now. It's going to be Mike Marler over in turn number one. He'll try and check out from the field. Slides up in turn number two. Two wheels over the cushion. It's not done yet in the back straightaway. Down the back straightaway with her side to side into turn number three. McCready on the bottom. Marler got to keep it on the guardrail into turn number four. McCready charging her. Down the main straightaway, four laps to go. It's about a two to three car length lead for Marler to one. Out in turn number four. Down the main straightaway. Mike Marler wins again in Knoxville on a Friday night. Yeah, it was a, it was an awesome race there. You know, right, you know when that caution came out there when I was when I got into third, I was like, man, this is an awesome race. You know, <laughs> and I, I fortunately came out on top of it. But I, if I hadn't have it's just an awesome race. I think the fans probably seen a good show. Are you positive this is a backup car? Are you positive? Hey, Ronnie Delk don't have no bad equipment. All of our equipment's good, so we we got to get out of you know. I wouldn't call it the backup. It's just the one we wasn't running. A year ago tomorrow night, you pick up forty thousand. You win this race. What better momentum could you have? And how about this first ever in the history of this event? A perfect night. Quick time, you win your heat race from eighth, and you win the feature. First ever perfect night. Unofficially, the pole sitter for tomorrow night's event. <laughs> well, that's a uh, good to set any kind of record, and you know we just had a good car tonight, and uh, just you know my team is so awesome. Them guys work hard. You know we had a rough night last night, and they've guys come through here and and uh, helped us get everything patched together. Josh and Jerry and Bernie from back home, and Craig, a buddy from up in Iowa, and just uh, all the gang here, Billy Ward, some friends back at home, Russ. So just uh, a lot of good, a lot of hometown guys up here with us this weekend. And we're doing well. I got to put an arm around. Your wife's already texted me. She said, give Mikey a hug in Victory Lane. She's watching back in Tennessee. Any other sponsors you want to thank on this race car? Uh, Stacy knows I love her. Just, you know, couldn't couldn't do it behind every good man. It's a strong woman, you know. So, uh, 